How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great October. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads in the last couple weeks. Uh, I was finishing up my contract for work and now I'm officially done. And I was planning a birding trip for the end of the month. So that's one thing that I want to talk about in this video. By the way, for my Canadian friends out there, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. This past weekend was just Canadian Thanksgiving. It was great to be with family and friends and eating so much pie. I ate a ridiculous actually a scary amount of pie but uh, to get on to what this video is about I have three things I want to talk about uh, the last thing I'll kind of need your help with but yeah to start off I want to talk about the new camera that I ended up going with and I ended up purchasing the Sony a7R4 I kind of hesitated just a little bit just because I was actually waiting to see the a9 II release I heard a few rumors around and I heard that it might have been a 36 megapixel sensor might have been 4k 60 uh, in the end it wasn't any of those and uh, some of the other features Although they're good, I don't think it's enough for me to justify moving up to that price point and uh, moving up to that type of camera. I think having the Sony a7R4 is gonna be the perfect choice. I haven't even used it yet, just took it out of the box. I set up my uh, blind in my backyard and some perches. I'm gonna try it out later on today. And here in Quebec, the sales tax is 15%, which adds up pretty fast on a camera that's expensive. But I was in Alberta for my contract and their sales tax is 5%. So I ended up saving 10% uh, just on the taxes by buying it out there. And I noticed on my last purchase, the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens, they actually overcharged me in terms of taxes. So I got that money back too. So the money that I ended up saving on this camera is actually going towards my birding trip at the end of the month. So my girlfriend and I, we've been looking around and we decided at the end of the month that we're gonna be going to Ecuador. By the way, if you've never seen many South American species and you're looking through this book for the first time, you need like an oxygen mask or something because the birds are ridiculous. I was freaking out. Like every page you turn, it's just, it just blows you away. Even if I went there and just saw hummingbirds, I think I'd be more than happy. I think they have, you know, well over a hundred species of hummingbirds in Ecuador. So the great thing about this trip is we're going for two reasons only, and that's to bird and create content for the YouTube channel. We have nothing else to do. And I have about 15 or 20 video ideas written down. I'm mostly going to be using the Sony a7R4 with the 200 to 600 millimeter lens. And my girlfriend's actually going to be renting the 100 to 400 Sony lens and she'll use that with my a7 III that's filming me right now so we'll be able to do some comparison see the difference I'll probably try the 100 to 400 on the a7 R4 also so that's very exciting I'm also planning to do some videos on uh, where we're staying and I can show you guys price points and what my birding experience was at all these different places I think in total we're staying probably in four or five different locations at different price points it would give you a good idea if you're planning to go to Ecuador where we stayed and I think that would be a pretty interesting video also planning to do some macro photography videos, some tips and tutorials, general birding videos. I don't know, I just have a bunch of ideas that I hope I can get all of them filmed because uh, it is supposed to be a little bit rainy considering we're in the rainforest. I'll try to get out as many videos. I'm hoping for, yeah, probably about 10 to 20 at least. Right before we leave, I'm also planning to do a what's in my bag video. So you guys will see all the gear we're bringing, why we're bringing it, what we'll use it for. And that should give you a better idea if you've never been to the rainforest or if you've ever been to Central America. That'll give you a little bit of a hint of what you need to bring and why you need to bring it. The last item on the agenda today is I wanna do another q and I was hoping to do about two a year and my last one was about a year ago. So I have already failed at that. But if you have any questions about wildlife, nature, uh, working as a biologist, photography, videography, gear, whatever, uh, just leave them down below. I'm gonna to try to get to as many comments as I can in the video. So if you ask a question down below, I'm gonna answer you just saying that I saw your question and that I'll answer it in the video. If you want me to answer the question right away, you can just write that, that you want an answer right away. So yeah, there's a lot of great content coming up on the channel. I'm so excited to start filming everything. Uh, right now I'm waiting for the sun to dip a little bit lower because it's, uh, it's about noon right now, so it's right above us. And uh, I want to test out that Sony a7R4 with some backyard birds. I'd like to go out and do some in the field tests with the a7R4. There's not many birds around though, so that's why, again, I'm doing the, uh, the backyard birding video. So yeah, the a7R4 is gonna get worked in Ecuador, I can tell you that. I'm gonna have like probably 10 to 16 hour photography days most days. Most of the in the field stuff, unless I, I happen to have a great birding day here in the field, uh, I think most of the in the field tests are gonna be done in Ecuador. That'll be later towards the end of the month. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you for all your great comments it's so much fun making these videos and it just makes me more and more excited when i get all your feedback but yeah i'm so excited with what we're going to be doing in the next few months and i'll see you in the next birding video happy birding